So traders, I've been expecting to see the stock market make an all-time new high by the end of this year. And uh, that's what I still believe is gonna happen. But if I'm wrong, at least on the short-term level, I wanna share with you the two main patterns I'm looking for that says that this is a top in the market and we're likely to see more downsides. So let's get straight into it. Don't place a trade based on what you're seeing in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. Alrighty traders, so um, what made me spur this on this, uh, this, this video today is on the two main patterns to say that we are going to see a move on the down, a big move on the downside is uh, I just finished doing some sessions with my private clients and it really sort of struck me that I think uh, a lot of people um, are really stuck in one way, right? So for example, for me, I'm really bullish in the markets right now, but um, but what if right now, at least right now, right, anything can happen by the end of this year, right? I still believe we're going to make an all-time new high by the end of this year. But what happens right now if the market is going to tell us that we're going to start to see much more lower prices? What would be the two main patterns that I need to watch out for to say, okay, this is what's likely to happen? So that's what I want to share with you in this video. Again, uh, I'm talking, I was, uh, I've just did a couple of hours worth of sessions with my private clients, and it's really, really amazing. If you are struggling with your trading right now, guys, and you need some help, then I've got a spot open for my 12 month coaching program. Second link in the description, you can click on that to apply for that. So uh, I was walking through, so if, look at this here, guys. So I wanna walk you through this. There's two main things that, uh, that I'm always looking for that I'm always watching the markets. The first one is what I call uh, the, the L-shaped pattern or the upside down L-shaped pattern, right? So we're looking at the stock market right now and uh, I'm always looking for these types of patterns, right? The L-shaped pattern or the upside down L-shaped pattern. So if you look at this, for example, here, you know, let's actually do this here, right? So let's actually do this. We can see that we have, we have what? We have the L-shaped pattern that looks like this, right? Or what? We have what? The upside down L-shaped pattern that looks like that. Make sense? So they're the two different sort of patterns that, that tells me that if we do get these patterns, we're likely, not all the time, we're likely to continue to see a move down or a move up, right? So that's the first thing is like the upside down all shape pattern or the or, or just the all shape pattern itself. The second thing is um, is also understanding about trend analysis, right? Because the trend analysis really gives us a good gauge on whether we're shifting from a downtrend to an uptrend or to an uptrend to a downtrend. Again, this goes in tide of the two main patterns that says we're about to see a big drop in the markets that I'm gonna be keeping an eye out for moving forward from here. Uh, and I'll use this as an example, right? So for example, TLT. I was quite bullish the TLT market, the, the bond market, for quite some time. But what ended up happening was this day right here, look at this day right here. What ended up happening this day right here? We did what? We started to what? We started to what? We started to have, the market was saying what? High, lower high, lower high, and now a lower high. So if we have lower highs, who's in control? Sellers, right? And especially when we started to get down to here, I knew that my prediction on saying the bond market's likely to rally now is wrong and I need to be out of it, right? So it's about listening to the markets as well too. Now I do believe we're gonna see a rally in the bond market, but it's probably gonna happen next year. Um, and that's the reason why I got out of the bond market at that time for just about, just only, only about a 10% loss um, on my position there. So it wasn't, it was 10% loss on my position, not my entire portfolio. Um, so it was only real, real, real small loss for me. But I did that and look at that. And I saved myself from actually having a much bigger loss um, from that there because that's what the, the market was telling us that, right? So the two main patterns are trend analysis, okay, because that's what the market's doing. But then also combining that with some sort of L shape or upside down L shape that says, okay, now we're likely to, now if this, if we do get these two patterns that form, the two main patterns that says this market's like, that this market could have a big drop in the downside is just that. So let's actually combine this together, okay? So let's look at the S&P 500. We could look at the Dow Jones as well too and all these other markets. Let's just say, for example, you know what? We're not going to, we're not gonna rally out here strong um, and, and we're gonna make new highs. Are we gonna do that? Obviously no one knows, right? That's why I'm, That's why I need to see more 
for me, again, guys, for me, my opinion and my my outlook is we're going to make an all-time new high by the end of the year. That doesn't mean we can't actually see a movement on the downside for the next month or two and then have a really big another up leg for a month or two and make an all-time new high by, by the end of this year, right? So on a short-term technical level basis, the two main patterns I need to see is the trend analysis to say we're now shifting from a downtrend to an uptrend, right? Or a what we call the L-shaped pattern. So I use this, if we use this, say, from, from the NASDAQ example, right? This, the NASDAQ was a really good example from shifting, right? We go from making, making a high, a lower high, high, lower high, downtrend, downtrend, to making a what? To making a, so this is a downtrend through here. Then we started making a high, a higher low. See how we actually, we started to change. We started to change the tune. It started to shift from down to up. And then that's when we started to shift to the upside. So what's going to make this possibly shift to the downside and start to see a lot more downside to come? What would be the pattern I'm looking for to see that we're now likely to see a lot more downside? The two different ones, right? The trend and the upside down L shape pattern. So let's actually combine them together to actually say, okay, then uh, maybe, just maybe, we're going to see that. So the first one is what? The upside down l shape pattern, right? Or actually, no, in this case, it's the l shape pattern. So in that case, what are we looking for? I'm looking for, if we do start to do something like this, let's just say, for example, we start to do something like this, right? We start to do what? We start to paint the bars like this here. See that, like that through there? If we do something like that over the next, say, week or two let's just say for example we did start to do something like that then now we're talking about what we're now we're now talking about the we're now talking about the l shape pattern right so if we do get something like that then this is probably going to give us the potential of having a lot more downside to come out of this level here so that's the first scenario there the second thing i'm there i need to see is for it to possibly even maybe do something like this like that and for it to start to make what a high a lower high and then what would we what we need to see is we need to see a breakdown bar like that breaking past these previous lows right this is the pattern that um now again this is what i'm looking for we could just continue down we can just continue straight continue straight down from here right but for me to say okay then you know on a short-term level basis anyway over the next say say few weeks I am looking for these two main patterns in the markets, okay? Looking for these two main patterns in the markets. Now, traders, that very first link in the description there, I'll give you free access to, the, to, my, to my trading course. Um, there's actually about three or four videos walking you through chart reading techniques like this, but actually in that free course. So if you're interested in that, very first link in the description, click on that. You can go get free access to that trading course. The very first video you get is actually a step-by-step -step walk through my actual trading system I use to trade these markets. And you and you see how that I utilize the trend and also the L shape pattern within my trading system and the rules I use. So again, first thing in the description there, guys, get free access to the trading course. The very first video you get is my trading system there. So they're the two different types of pattern, right? Then we have a high up here, and then we have a lower high here. And then, and then breaking down. If indeed, guys, we get these two main patterns, these two important patterns, if we get these two important patterns, it tells us that we're possibly likely to see a movement on the downside. So I'm not saying we're definitely going to get this here, because guess what, guys? Guess what? We could actually what? We could actually say, the market could say, you know what? Screw that. Screw you. We're getting ready, and we start to have a big, move in a big rally to the upside and then we make an all-time move to the high uh, uh, an all-time move to the high that's also a possibility as well too so the two main patterns guys that i'm watching for are the trend and the l shape pattern right now if we do develop that over the next couple of weeks then that tells us that we could actually see a big drop um, on the downside does that make sense so that's exactly what i'm looking forward from there guys so what I do, guys, is um, I'll give you an example of what I'm talking about here. So let me just go through. Here's, here's, some, here's the trade examples that I got that I've been building. Um, I've got what, how, many, how many trade examples do I have here? Uh, 107, 108 trade examples now uh, from this here. But let me actually bring this up here. I want to share I want to share the pattern with you. Let me just find this here. Um, this one right here, right? So this one, this one right here. So it sort of looks like that, but that's not the example that I want to share with you. Let me just open this up a bit more. 
right let me just bring this up to here I just want to let me just bring this down to here um, I'm gonna share example I'm gonna I, I, so for, for me I'm gonna show you an example of what that actually may look like on the chart uh, of what I'm looking for from there again all these different trading here we go here right here's an example here so this is again doesn't matter what what market this is but look what we have here okay so this is an example of what I'll be looking for notice how we have a low a higher low and a higher low but look what happened right we had this pattern notice how we got this pattern here now on the stock market right now notice we've got that right so now well if we do get what the l shape pattern and a breakaway bar we could actually start to see a nice big leg on the downside do you see that there guys so i hope this helps you out there guys if you do need some help with your trading then you can apply for my 12 month daily coaching second link in the description if you do need some help go apply for that guys and i'll personally call you have a great day guys i'll see you in the next video